I love the way Abby loves the Lord. She's in constant pursuit of Him. Even when things get hard, she reminds us to always turn back to Him. I love how passionate Abby is. She loves so deeply for everyone around her. The way she loves me, my family, my friends is truly special. I love how compassionate Abby is. Abby knows how to meet people where they are and love them for who they are. She isn't afraid to walk through hard seasons with someone. We have had to walk through a lot of hard times together, and she has made it better for me. I love Abby's brown eyes and soft smile. After a long day, there is nothing more beautiful. I love when she laughs really hard. Sometimes she starts to cry. I love her love for good music. She knows every single Need to Breathe song. I love Abby's sweet spirit and how she's able to light up a room with her personality. I love how adventurous Abby is and how she's constantly wanting to do something fun and enjoyable. I love how supportive Abby is. I know that no matter what, she will always be in my corner cheering me on. I love Abby's drive and ambition. I love Abby's love for her family and how she cares so deeply for her brother and sisters. I love Abby's soft side. Whenever she lets her walls down, she has a side to her that is special. And I am so lucky to experience that every day. I love from this day forward, I'll get to call her my wife. I love Reed's gentle and kind heart. He's in tune with other people's needs and is quick to act on it. I love the way Reed holds people together. We always joke, he's like the glue. In a room full of people, Reed will find a way to make everyone feel unified and important. I love how Reed makes me laugh. He is so fun and is the person who makes me laugh the hardest and the most often, and apparently cry every day. Yeah. Yeah. I love the way Reed loves and cares for his family. I love the way he has loved Jake. It was one of the first signs for me that I wanted to marry Reed and have him be a part of my family. I love Reed's desire to understand. If he doesn't understand something, he'll ask, but mostly he will try to figure it out on YouTube. That's true. But he really does seek to make sense of things and how they work and why they work. I love the way Reed embraces all that I am. He's never expected me to be any more or any less of one thing. I love Reed's humility. He's a servant in such a quiet and specific way without ever needing to be recognized for it. I love how patient Reed is. He's not easily moved by the circumstances that he can't control. I love the way Reed has spent time with my people. He has loved me so well by loving my friends and family. I love the way Reed makes me feel brave. He challenges me, challenges us not to be fearful of things we can't control. I would go anywhere with him if he's leading me. I love the way Reed cages my crazy. He will know what this means. I love that no amount of time with Reed ever feels like enough. He's the person I want to be with all the time. On July 25th, Reed and I got the keys for our first apartment, and after both of our work days, we started to move things in and unpack. The walls were so freshly painted, you could still smell it. It was perfect. I was putting things away in our cabinets and happened to be carrying too many things all at once, as I do, and I ended up dropping something and tried to catch it on the wall. I did catch it, of course, but I also put a dent in our freshly painted wall. He looked at me with a frustrated look for a split second and then immediately shifted gears and said, it's okay, and shrugged it off like it was nothing. He's so patient. If roles were reversed, I would have flipped out. <laughs> he is so calm and understanding and so forgiving. I love him. <laughs> yeah, she really loves you.